हे गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज अंश एंड वी आर बैक अगेन विद आवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट विल बी ट्रेस फाइल एंड एडेट लॉक फाइल सो लेट मी शेयर माई स्क्रीन सो वी आर ओपनिंग आवर वी एम सो लेट मी सेट द एनवायरमेंट हेयर डॉट ओर आई एन वी एस एच एज माई डेटा बेस सीक्वल प्लस एज सिस डी बी सो एज ऑफ नाउ वी आर अवेयर विद द पैरामीटर फाइल्स control files radio log files and all that files and today our new topic is one of the most important physical files that is the para, uh, alert log file as well as a trace file without the help of this files yeah we can perform any activities in the database but for troubleshooting part this file is very very important whenever you are performing any operations any activities in a db you should require this files in parallel to monitor what and all things that is happening at the back end so remember this thing Uh, these files are very very important so before moving forward let me show, ask you some questions that uh, what and all things that is present under this um, trace file as well as the alert log file the second question what is the location of trace file and what is the location of alert log file and what is the importance of these things this files why it is required so let me show you the location first of all so there is a utility called adrci automatic diagnostic repository command line interface with the help of that you can identify what is the location so adrci this is the utility tool if you will fire this command you will be getting the adr base under this adr base these are the base locations of all the files even for the home db home or for the alert log file these are the base location and if you want to check how many homes are present here so you can see here that this is the diag rdbms for sha we have the diag file for orcl database we have the diag for prod we have a diag and for listener files listener related issue you can refer to this location if you want to get the alert the same thing you will be getting here look diag rdbms sha orcl prod listener and all that for if you want to view the alert log file for this sh1 the option is one if you want to press one you will go to the alert log for that look so in the previous session we have done this na we have edited the 6g 4 7g uh, and uh, using scope equal to sp file and all that we have started the database instance so each and every information you are able to view here we have just started alter database open and all that thing happened here so this is the file which contains all type of informations even if you have ora related errors why it is causing it will show you here from the alert log file only you will be able to identify what and all the issues are there what if you are starting a database and your database is not getting up so what issue is occurring at the back end you can refer to the alert log file so this is a very important file for a troubleshooting point of view and you can use adrci but in some organization if this is not working this adrci utility is not working on that scenario what to do you have to identify the location the location will always be oracle base this is u01 app oracle okay under this you have to go with the diag rdbms sha and sha let me show you this sha means the database name and the second sha is instance name though we have the database and instance both name are, are same that is why it is written sha and sha but it's not that case if it is a rack environment then the instance name will be changed here so under this location look at the pwd location this is the by default location in all the databases whether it is a production lab or test qa dev all the environment we have this locations bus uh you have to go to that location and you have to identify in our case under this location you will be viewing that okay these are the files which is inside it c dump alert incident log sweep trace all that file but you are seeing uh, my main objective is to go to the alert log and trace file but 
here is a location here is a directory called alert if you go to this alert log location lsf and ltrh you will be getting log.xml so we are not uh, more focused on this log.xml file because our main objective is to check the alert log file and that alert log file will be present under trace remember this one if you want to view alert log file it will be under trace file trace directory if you do ls ltrs under trace you'll be getting all the trace file information like trm file trc file and all that file along with that you will get the alert log file also look alert underscore sha dot log so if you want to view this you have to go to the location of trace remember this thing for every organization you will get this type of locations only whether it is u01 or it is opt or it's a u02 and remember the alert log will be find only and only under this trace directory if you want to view the alert log file you can use view vi or you want to check the current uh, thing that is happening to our database the current generation of logs then you can use tail hyphen 10f or 20f or 100f depending on how many lines last line 100 lines you want so you use 100f if you want to view last 50 lines on the regular basis you can use last 100 lines and the file name alert sha dot log this will signify that this is the database name instance name for and the alert log for this database is alert underscore sha dot log if you enter look it is showing yeah okay if you'll say okay how to identify that uh, alert log is working or not so let me open another terminal i will go here i will start the environment sql plus access dba what i will do i will shut it down the database as you immediate once i trigger this command let's monitor alert log file enter let's monitor look stopping the instance all the background process is going down database closed normal database is dismounting some background process is going down archiving is disabled and instance shutdown complete if you'll go here and if you'll identify look the instance shutdown is complete without any error if you are facing any error you'll be getting the output then and there only so let me start again and let's monitor the alert log look your background process is starting here database is mounted some parameters is being set and all the database open is completed and once it is completed you can verify here okay this is being completed if it is not opened and thrown some error you have to troubleshoot then and there okay so this is the case scenario of alert log file now moving to the trace file so trace file basically what happens here the same information what is present under alert log file the same information is present in this trc and trm file but if you will view this trm and trc file let me view this this file look here there are n number of lines which is present in this trace file which is not required for us we are not bothering these many information if 2000 lines are there then why we are going to uh, understand about 2000 lines because alert log only throws only one to two lines errors and it will show the information why it is causing and in trace file for that two errors we have 2000 lines so it's not that we have to go and use trace file but oracle has suggested that you can refer trace file in case of you are doing tuning and if something bad happens to the database you will refer alert log file and alert log file is not giving concrete information and you are not able to troubleshoot that so you should refer tr3 trace file dot trc or trm file and if you are also not able to uh, do the troubleshooting you have to raise a concern with the oracle vendor and oracle vendor will ask you for the logs because once they will analyze then only they will be able to troubleshoot so they will ask for the logs and the logs will be tfa logs tfa is just a trace file analyzer it will combine all the logs and it will fetch the records and it will uh, generate a single file so remember if you have some any information any doubts related to this you have to view, uh, view the alert log file in case if alert log file is not giving proper information and you want to do the troubleshooting then you can refer trace file which consumes uh, contains a described or elaborated form of errors 
that uh, this error is con consists of this issues and all and this is the time duration when this error is occurred so every interval uh, trace file will be generated and remember each server process and background process can write to an associated trace file and all the errors will be captured under this trace file also adrci uh, this is automatic diagnostic repository which is a very very important and it is a system wide central tracing and logging repository because everything is logged here even your oracle home even your uh, pipe database is in the server then you can uh, store all the uh, alert log and home location in this repository as also you can store the database diagnostic data such as traces alert logs and health monitor reports also so this is very very important files which you should be knowing about and the location i guess you guys are aware with now so this is it about alert log file and trace file so thank you everyone bye have a great day ahead